في مساحة من من الفرح باقية بأي بيت من بيوت بسوريا فهي بالانتصارات اللي عم تحققوها. President al-Assad spent the New Year's Eve with the soldiers and officers of the Syrian Arab Army in Joba. The New Year's celebrations are limited to prayers and masses in different churches. The Iraqi army eliminated dozens of ISIL terrorists west of Ramadi and northeast of Bakuba. Good afternoon and Happy New Year everybody. On the eve of the New Year, President al-Assad visited military sites in Jobar and met with the Syrian Arab Army soldiers and officers and the National Defense Unit's personnel. On the eve of the New Year, President Bashar al-Assad visited military sites in Jobar and met with the Syrian Arab Army soldiers and officers and the National Defense Units. His Excellency toured a number of military points, praising the heroisms of the Syrian soldiers and voicing appreciation for the sacrifices they are offering to keep the people and their properties in Damascus and its vicinities safe. Addressing the soldiers, President al-Assad said, while the New Year Eve is an occasion for families to meet together, you've wanted to be here to protect your people and country away from your families. The President added that receiving a New Year is everybody's hope. But the bigger hope is the victory of our armed forces and all those who have fought on their side in our battle against terrorism. He greeted the families of the Syrian Arab Army's soldiers and martyrs and the National Defense Units, wishing speedy recovery for the wounded. He affirmed that the sacrifices of the martyrs and the wounded and the determination of their families represent the most important factor behind Syria's steadfastness. His Excellency also greeted through the soldiers on the front lines in Jobar, all those who have carried arms in defense of the homeland in all areas of tension in Syria, where the terrorists attacked citizens, saying to them, We embrace you as a society and people. We derive our morale from you and your high morale. On their part, the soldiers pledged to remain vigilant, defending Syria and safeguarding its soil and dignity, renewing the vow to His Excellency and the homeland to continue their stand of steadfastness until terrorism is defeated and security and stability is restored across Syria. Welcome back. New Year's celebrations have been limited to religious masses and prayers in various churches in view of current events in Syria and in honor of the country's martyrs. <laughs> A religious mass and prayers have been held at the Miami Cathedral in Damascus on the occasion of the New Year, conveying a message to the entire world calling for an end to the war in and on Syria and glorifying the great significance of allegiance to the homeland. The Patriarch of Antioch and all the Orient for the Greek Orthodox, Johanna X Yazidi, stressed in the sermon the noble meanings of Christmas and the great values it embodies, affirming that national unity in Syria is the secret behind its steadfastness, strength and progress. We refuse that our youths be fuels for blind takfir, Patriarch Yazidi stressed. At the Archbishopric of the Catholic Armenians, Archbishop Joseph Arnauti prayed to God for peace and security to spread throughout Syria and to protect the country from any foreign intervention. At the Syriac Orthodox Church, a religious mass was held by the Patriarchal Assistant at the Patriarchy of Antioch and all the Orient for the Syriac Orthodox, Jean Awak, affirming that a message of love and peace is interpreted through allegiance to the homeland and work for it. War prayers have come out from hearts full of feelings of good, compassion and coexistence, supplicating to God Almighty to preserve the Syrian people and bless the martyrs who have irrigated with their blood the soil of the homeland to keep it safe and secure. 
The Syrian Arab Army, together with the People's Defense Unit in Aleppo, have pushed terrorists out from 16 factories northeast of Handarat camp in the governorate's countryside. The news camera was there, touring the factories which had been destroyed and burned by the armed terrorist groups. The People's Defense Units have affirmed determination to work alongside the Syrian Arab Army soldiers to fight the armed terrorist groups until all Syrian land is fully cleared of them. The Iraqi army, supported by tribal activists, killed 30 ISIL terrorists west of Ramadi city in Al Ambar province. In Diyala governorate, the Iraqi army killed four ISIL terrorists by shelling their den in Azur area northeast of Baquba. As the Iraqi army is making rapid progress in Diyala, the terrorists began to evacuate their positions, intensifying military operations in the villages north of Al Maqdadiya. Meanwhile, Iraqi Prime Minister Haider al Abadi paid a visit to Abdul Uiya area south of Tikrit two days after being liberated by the Iraqi army. In occupied Palestine, Israeli forces intensified their aggression against the Palestinian citizens, breaking into several areas in the West Bank, during which 10 Palestinians were arrested, including the liberated former prisoner Sadiq Abu Maria, after Israeli soldiers forced their way into his house in Beit Amir town, north of Hebron. The occupation troops ransacked Palestinians' houses and damaged their properties during the operation. Finally, former Lebanese Prime Minister Omar Karami died this morning at the age of 80 following a chronic disease. Karami died at the American University Hospital in Beirut, where he was receiving treatment for some time. The late Prime Minister was born on March 17, 1935 in Tripoli, Lebanon. He received his B.A. in law from Cairo University in 1956 and served as Prime Minister twice the first time from December 1990 till 1992 and the second from October 2004 till February 2005. Karami was well known for his support of Lebanese national resistance and his strong adherence to the just Arab causes. With this, we conclude our news for the day. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website in English, syrianonline.sy. Now to latest business and market news with Serena, but after a short break.